welcome to Softree. This is Erin, and in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the Mass Hall Diagram. The Mass Hall Diagram gives you quick, qualitative information about the cut and fill volumes and movement. Mass Hall is a graphic representation of accumulated volume. At any station, the value is the accumulated cut volume minus the accumulated fill volume up to that point. The difference in mass hall between two points indicates the volume of surplus, positive difference, or deficit, negative difference. The mass hall diagram has its material movement types color coded. Free hall is shown in green. This is material which is pushed or pulled a distance less than the free hall distance, which is def by default set at 100 feet. Overhaul material is shown in yellow. And this is material which is moved beyond the free haul distance of 100 feet and less than the overhaul distance, which, again, by default, is set at 500 feet. Material that is borrowed is shown in blue, and this is material that must be trucked in from outside the road project. Waste, also known as end haul, is shown in red, and this is material which, which must be trucked outside the road project. Now, let's jump into our program and take a look. Let's begin this tutorial by adjusting our screen layout. Here, we're going to adjust it to a layout that only includes our profile window. We can adjust our profile window options to include the mass hall diagram. The profile subwindows area can display multiple items. All sub-windows will share the same horizontal axis with the profile window. Now, let's configure a few options for our mass hall sub-window. The grid button displays the common grid and axis label control. Notice that the horizontal axis is disabled. It would be identical to the profile axis and therefore redundant. No changes are needed here, so let's press cancel and head back. Now we're going to turn on all four of the advanced mass hall items. This is going to enable hatching. We'll turn on free haul, overhaul, borrow, and waste. Notice here that we can adjust the distance, which defines both free haul and overhaul. For the purposes of this example, we'll keep them as their defaults. Finally, the mass haul and zero line buttons allow us to control the line style and color of the basic graphic items. No changes are needed to these either. And now you can see our mass haul diagram with the material movements color coded in. Finally, it is possible to modify the mass hall to account for borrow and waste. For this example, we're going to add a new borrow pit. You can do this by going to the Edit, Assign Parameters by Range. Here, we're going to select the Pits tab. Now, we're going to set it up to for a borrow pit at station 450 for a volume of 8,000. And now here's our updated mass hall diagram, reflecting the addition of our borrow pit. And that's it for this tutorial. Come back and join us for another soon.